Hello and welcome to this video. In this video we're gonna show you how to actually have a workaround basically the keyboard size in the latest edition of Windows 10 which is 1709 Creators Fall Edition. Okay. Um, before we had a video where we had our registry tricks to basically be able to make this a lot smaller and a lot easier to use. The problem is in the latest edition that registry trick does not work, other tricks do not work. Okay, so the only options we now have is to actually go back to our Windows OSK keyboard unless you actually want to go for a third party keyboard which lots of people seem to like at the same time I don't trust it because for all I know that's a third party keyboard whatever I type in it could be being sent to their own servers okay so I'd like to stick with what's in Windows itself the first thing I want to show you is basically scroll down all the way to Windows Ease of Access and on screen keyboard. We can happily modify this size, quite nice, literally to the same way as we had before. And you have your function keys, no problem, it'll remain in the same place. Click on options, make sure that's that. Okay, you can have text prediction if you want, it chooses words. Then we want to basically make sure it starts up when I sign on. Tick this box. This is the most important thing. What this is kind of doing is kind of overriding this but life is still not perfect if you do use a pen and handwriting you may still like to stick with this if you don't what you do need to do because this might pop up still when you actually want this tinier keyboard so let's go to services what I will do is I'll minimize this and I'll actually pin this right click pin to taskbar so it stays there permanently in case we ever get lost we can always get this keyboard back okay very simple now go to services click enter on that first one scroll all the way down to basically touch keyboard okay touch keyboard and handwriting now if you keep this at manual in case it's ever ever needed it will automatically start up okay some people do use pens etc you may want to keep it it might override our smaller size keyboard with the big pop-up keyboard or the big pop-up writing bit what we are doing is we're disabling it we're also stopping the current service okay and shut that down. What happens at this point after disabling it is you can try clicking on it, it doesn't work. Okay, we still have our on screen keyboard okay, that we can use. Just as an example, I've opened up that and clicked in there, and we can use the on screen or the regular keyboard that we're using. Disable that. For some reason, after you disable this touch keyboard, our normal keyboard, you can probably hear us typing away madly, does not work. 
this will not work at present. Even going over here and trying to type does not work. So what we're going to do, we're just going to keep this there. We're going to minimize it. We need to restart. Sometimes it's taken two restarts to actually get it to start functioning. And like before, it has restarted. We did resize this, obviously, and we kept it where we want to keep it. Okay, and it after reset it came straight back. If you're lucky with the first time, you should be able to use your normal keyboard if you have one attached, or if you don't, you should be able to use this keyboard and it's worked. Okay, once again, this will not work. You can literally get rid of it um, over here. And let's try. What would happen normally if I was to try and type something in here? Basically, without a keyboard attached, that huge keyboard would come up. Okay, or in WordPad, etc. You got your full keyboard, you've got all the options, you got the function keys, you have it all there. You can obviously change languages of the keyboard over here. If you need to add extra, click on there, language preferences, and add different languages, and this should show it all. Okay. So, fortunately, in this video, it took one restart. In the past, as I did mention, it has taken two. And this, I'll just show you, even if you close it down, there we go, it's over there. If I was to open it up, it comes back to the same size. Let's do another restart just to see if all's good. To be honest with you, it's just as good. We have disabled the normal touch keyboard which was a pain being half the size of your window we have now overridden it which is what should have happened originally and now we are using the on-screen keyboard and life is just as good thank you for watching please give us a like if it's helped thank you